lie to you. It's not like you're working for like a financial institution. It's like, oh, I've like raised 12% of taxes or something. So I don't think that's really gonna apply to you as much, um, but it is something if you have something that is relevant, you can add that there. Extracurricular activities, those are going to be sports, volunteering, if you're doing outside of school, um, any kind of leadership positions, if you're with the Boys and Girls Club, that sort of thing, those are also gonna look really good on a resume, uh, and it's the same criteria there. Volunteer experience, same situation. Honors and awards are really important. Anything that where you're being recognized for your coolness, awesomeness, you know, like if you have honor roll, dean's list, anything like that, that's going to be something that you're going to want to add. And I would even go as far as to add the year or the month as well. This doesn't have it, but I would add when you receive that honor and that award. And skills and interests, that's going to be another area where you're going to want to use those action words, those phrases that are highlighted in certain job descriptions on those websites. This is going to be where you want to add those as well. So fluent in Microsoft Word, you know, skill building, you know, works well in a team, like that sort of stuff. Um, that's going to be something that you're going to want to add there. There's also... If I go to my resume, so this is an example of an education resume. And this website that I use is called My Perfect Resume. We're not gonna use it today because it kind of does all the hard stuff for you. Um, so it's like a less entirely relevant. There's also some issues with it too. But it is a resume generator that takes you step by step in creating your own resume and it gives you the option professional academic, or whatever. Um, so skills is going to be where you want to add, you know, multitasking, problem solving, that sort of thing, especially what you find on those major websites. So make sure you add that. Education is all going to be included down here. Your um, high school, middle school, like I said, is not going to be as relevant. Um, but for today's sake, if you want to add it, because you have, we're part of a lot of groups or um, clubs, you can add that there if you want. Uh, certifications, if you're certified in anything. I don't know what you guys would be certified in. Oh, now. they can be certified well, in Well, so you, like, who's working, works in food, like, restaurants? So you work, do you have your um, TIFFS training? Um, I have a food And then your food safety? Okay, so that would be... I actually would know. So here, there are like four different certifications they can get from ART, they can get Surf Safe, they can get National Registry. Surf Safe, They yeah. can get um, certified through exercise science for different things, they can get certified in Microsoft, they can get a lot okay, of things. Okay, so just so you know. <laughs> cool, that's awesome for you guys. Um, add that. Yes. Okay, um, if you were like, like say, literally for exercise science, like you're supposed to be getting like the certification at the end of the year, mm -hmm. w would you like not be able to put it on there yet? So this, that's a really good question because this is actually a resume that's not a completed resume. So this resume I wrote with the intention of fulfilling those requirements or the um, criteria on my resume by the end of the year. Because I have some um, people that are already asking me for my resume, but I'm like, I'm not done with school yet. Yeah. So how, what do I do with that? So basically what you do is you write out your resume and you put professional experience 2024 to current because I'm still doing it. Okay. And then you, in your interview or in your you know, communication with your employer, say this is my resume with the intention that this will be completed by said date. Okay. So you can still add it and say that like it's in progress, mm -hmm. but and that'll be fine. Yeah. Like because they're fine. hiring you with the expectation that it's going to be done. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, I have my back to Any other questions? Yes. Um, what if, like, because, like, for my job, I don't have PIPA training. So, like, is that something I would put? What is it? Like, for PIPA. Like, PIPA? Yeah. What about it? Like, would that be something I would put under mm -hmm. skills? Yeah. Skills or certifications. If you have a certification under, with HIPAA, so you're going to, like, medical... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's something you add certifications. Um, also, you can add it to as part of your education as well. Say that like you took HIPAA training 
you know, at this time, like during, under this, um, whatever, like high school or whatever course. So yeah, you can definitely add that. Any other questions? Language, so this one particularly, this website gives you this like weird bar thing. That's another issue I have with this one. And it gives you like limited working as an option. Um, I tried to go back in and change it because I think it was like kind of relevant. It sounds kind of dumb now that I'm looking at it, um, but it won't let me. So <laughs> another reason not to always rely on these templates. They're just a good kind of practice. But what we're going to do now is if you guys, you guys should be able to access the templates on your canvas and refer. Okay, she's working on that. She's working on that. 